Example 8. Find the general solution of the derivative of f of x equals e to the x and find the particular solution that satisfies the initial condition f of 0 equals 3. So for this problem, first of all, we have to understand the concept that if we take the integral of the derivative of some function, the integral, the antiderivative of a derivative will give you the original function. So we have to understand this relationship here. Okay, if you take the integral of some derivative, it's going to undo that derivative. All right? So we're trying to figure out what this equation is given this information. So let's just substitute. So f prime of x, that's going to be e to the x dx. And think about, think about the derivative of f of e to the x. If I took the derivative of that, that's going to be e to the x. So the antiderivative would also be e to the x. So this is going to be e to the x plus, um, plus c. Okay. And then notice, okay, we can call this whole thing, we can call this now f of x is equal to e to the x plus c. And then notice that f of 0 equals 3. So I can replace this with 3. And I can plug in 0 for x. And now I know that 3 is equal to c because this would be equal to 1. And then I can plug it back into this. So f of big F of x equals f of x plus 3. This would be finding the general solution given this information. Let's try another one of these. Find the general solution of f prime of x equals 10x minus 12x cubed and the particular solution that satisfies the initial condition, big F of 3 equals 2. So again, we know that if we take the derivative, or I'm sorry, if we take the integral of a derivative, that will undo the derivative. So I'm going to start with that. Then I'm going to use these two equations. So the integral of, I'm going to replace f prime of x with 10x minus 12x cubed dx. And when I, um, when I take the integral of that, that is going to be equal to 10x squared over 2 minus 12x to the fourth over 4 plus c. So this is equal to 5x squared minus 3x to the fourth plus c. So now we know that um, f of x, big F of x, is equal to 5x squared minus 3x to the fourth um, plus c. And then in order to find c, we're going to use this equation when f when you have f of 3, that's going to equal 5x squared, uh, 5 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 to the 4th plus c. Where f of 3, I can replace f of 3, that's equal to 2. So I can make that 2. This is going to be 5 times 4 minus 3 times 16 plus c. This would be 20. This would be minus 48. Then this would be negative 28 plus c. 
Then I'm going to add 28 to both sides. C is equal to 30. So now I'm going to go back up here and make this F of X is equal to 5X squared minus 3X to the 4th plus 30. 